Ah. Hmm. Welcome to the show. My name is Alex. And I'm Lizzie. And today we have a special episode of uh, FromCast. We have one of the creatures slash monsters of From who caused the most mayhem possible in one episode. And that is Molly Dunsworth. And here she is. How are you, my dear? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, well, thank you for taking the time to, can I put you in the center there? Thank you for taking the time to speak with us. And, you know, your character has been a fan favorite, to say the least. <laughs> I mean, <It's> awesome. <laughs> it really is. I mean, she has caused more yeah. mayhem and destruction by just having a nice smile and bringing a rose <laughs> and bringing some yeah. flowers. I mean, you have you have killed it literally and figuratively. <laughs> the rose. And she, oh, and, nice. And and you know that said. I know we have a bunch of questions we we want to ask you. And Lizzie, why don't you go first? Because I know you have uh, questions that you need answered. Okay. So, especially now meeting you, and you're so different from that character, I thought you had similarities. But <laughs> how did you prepare to get yourself in that mindset? Um. Well, I'm a method actor, so I... I painted my face white and I went around my neighbor. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not a method actor. At all. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do this. Whole, like, I would have leaned in people's windows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm really big at that. I would have loved that. Home Depot. <laughs> I like just going through windows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, I often yeah. I'll write a little backstory <laughs> for the character that, that I'm playing. But this time I didn't. Um, I just kind of thought like, okay that she's this creature. What is it she wants? How is she going to get that? And I just kind of played off that. I uh, I always write a yeah. lot of notes in my script and have, you know, little uh, post-it notes and scritches and scratches and slashes and arrows on the words and stuff like that. But Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And you'd like to go into Home Depot just scaring the crap out of people. That's, okay. <laughs> that's just between us and and that's, that's wonderful. Um, <laughs> Just anywhere she saw a window, she was like standing in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you had just said that you like to paint yourself white. Was there any prosthetics or anything other than just plain old makeup that they had you do or? Um, no, actually it was my first experience with CGI. So what they did was they had me come in with no makeup on and they slicked my hair back and they had me in like a nude tank top. And I went and stood on this spinny thing and they would t get a photograph of me from every angle first, you know, very oh, still. Yeah. And then, and then with me going like, yeah, oh, <laughs> like, making scary faces and stuff, just like spinning around and around. It was really interesting. It was like my first experience with anything CGI. So that was cool. Oh, wow. And how long did yeah. that process take? Um, yeah. Good question. It, 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 it was, it was, yeah, it was about uh, probably an hour or so. I oh, okay. So you weren't there yeah. all day? Nope, nope. Not too long. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Lizzie, what else you got? Yeah, I, I love that stuff. I love that stuff. Okay. So um, if you stuck in from, oh, if you were stuck in from, which you, yeah. your character actually is, would you rather be a creature or a survivor? A creature, I think, because I'd rather, I'd rather be scary than be scared. I think. <laughs> well, at least you're honest but about I was it. I the same thing. I think I'd rather do the scary. But the nice thing yeah. is, you have a what lot did you better. Say, Alex? I said you have a lot cleaner clothes as a creature. 
they, they I swear they they have the best laundry yeah. service of any of any creatures because everybody is like I all know. worn down and they're like ripped shirts. They're waiting for new people. You guys come in, you know, all prim and proper. I, I you were just getting a little blood off your collar there. I mean, <laughs> yeah. come on, it's I know. just it's just like you got it out of a museum or something. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, that said, oh. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you another question, and you've you kind of answered a little bit. But what what type of um, what type of memories do you have? Because how long were you on the shoot for? Um, initially, I'm pretty sure it was only two days, but then okay. they had us come back and do another two oh. days. They wanted to change up the scene a little bit from what they had originally envisioned. So. I think altogether it was four days, but it was during like height of COVID times. Right. So I had to do so many COVID tests like for weeks leading up to and day of. Yeah. And like, so it felt like I was on set for a long time because I was, you know, <laughs> in contact with everybody all the time and getting right. COVID no, tests I totally every get day. That. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. And, and, and in terms of where, since the, 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 creatures or whatever were you guys kind of all together and then the 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 live actors meaning the people that were the survivors slash you know were they kind of did you guys kind of segregate yourselves or? um not not really in, in my memory it was mostly just me and um chris christopher hayes who plays kevin who yeah you know who the, meets that awful fate <laughs> you 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 little vixen you yeah <laughs> have you worked so, with him before oh, yes, i'm just curious no no yes <laughs> who i had for dinner um no i i never yeah. have um but he was so lovely it, like he put me at ease immediately it was so great to meet him oh i i know it's good writing it made great story i wanted to strangle him i'm like dude you are the <laughs> dumbest person yeah. in the world right like like give me a break yeah, ah, yeah. Mm, sorry it's total side note i just can't i can't um I, uh, I can't deal with it i know that you're you grew up in the acting world right uh mm -hmm. with with your dad and everything I, I, and i know you've done some other type of work how does this work compared to some of the other stuff you've done um like from particularly yeah just was... from compared to any of the other just in general um well it was it was quite a shock to my system to all of a sudden be on a film set again because it it had been a few years since i'd done anything and right. then um I, and it was covid right so i was used to being by myself pretty much all the time and then i walk in yeah. and it's like it's Nova Scotia. So we've, yeah. we've got a pretty small film crew here. Um, well, not a small film crew, but familiar film crew here. Um, and it was so awesome to see everybody again. It was like, you know, it's so it's good. old home week. It's old home. Yeah, week. exactly. Yeah. Um, and it was, uh, it, there were big names that I was nervous about and, uh, but everyone was so nice and friendly and like, I have a, a really good memory of <laughs> um, Jack Bender, producer, director, Jack Bender. I was really intimidated. I was like, oh, I hope I do a good job, you know? And at one point I'm outside the window and he's inside <laughs> the set and he he looks out at me and goes, and I'm just like, okay, everything's gonna be okay. I got the thumbs up. <laughs> well, you know, we just talked to Harold Pernod actually a couple of days ago at the, oh, cause wow. we, yeah. And it was like, as nervous as you were, we were that nervous. And then some, it's like, don't screw it up. Yeah. And, and meaning I'm saying this to myself, not Lizzie. She's the professional of the two. And, and I'm just saying to myself, Hey, you know, but most of the people are just so relaxed. It just seems like, you know, everybody wants the best out of everybody. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, All so uh, in together. I can tell you unequivocally that performance was spot on perfect. And I wanted to open the window for you. Like oh, you were just so convincing. You. you made like thank you the whole <laughs> eeriness and you know the like it looks like you put a lot of work in on that guy, Kevin. 
Um, it wasn't <laughs> yeah. just a one night thing that you're showing up and, you know, yeah. I know like there's just some of that glamoring going on and it just adds to the mystique around these monsters as to what they really are. So yeah. did you give any thought to what, what the monsters were? I honestly, not really. I only had this, the scripts that I was in. Right. So I, I, yeah. I pondered a little bit, but I was like, I really have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. I'm just on a set trying to make a couple days work and be yeah. done with it. I'll scare yeah. some people, I'll eat a couple of guys. Yeah. Well, no, that, that yeah. said, I mean, yeah. did you get a chance to watch the whole series, this the first season? Guess what? I can't what? watch any of it. What? I, I don't I don't have Epics and I don't have um MGM Plus. Oh, no. So I haven't I haven't been able to watch it. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I, I need to get you some screeners. That I just heard that you can get season one for free yeah. on Amazon Prime. Really? Yes, that I don't oh. know. I didn't check it out, but that's what I just heard today. Oh, that would be fantastic. News. I'm almost 99% sure. Yeah, it's up until I guess Sunday. We yeah. talked to Jamie and um, Mr. Smiley himself, and right. you know, they really know how to cast some scary freaking people because yeah, he, 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 he just even without his makeup, he's scary. Yeah, no, and he knows he's not, it. He, he's so innocuous until he smiles. smiles. Like you know, yeah, you're just yeah. talking to him, and he's just this normal, nice guy. And then he says something, and him, and he's got this like million dollar smile now. You know, like it's yeah. just amazing. But it was kind of like I'm like, I wonder if those two monsters date. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, that I that's going like, to be the fan fiction when it gets to be huge. It's going to be you two riding off into the sunset, yeah. just eating some people, and you know, oh making sure God. that we have clean clothes. And yeah. Yeah. Um, oh my God. but because like know. I just pictured like you know the two of you gloating over your kills afterwards. <laughs> yeah. So it took three nights at a window, but I was able to get them to open it. And I went in and he was so young. And then, yeah. you know, Smiley wouldn't even be jealous. No, he'd love it. <laughs> exactly. I mean, exactly. Because like his whole, and that from it, that same attack, he's the one over the banister, like, oh, yeah. Jessica rocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh my God. Now, are you working on anything currently like that hasn't come out yet? No, I'm actually not. That's a, Molly, it's yeah. okay. You were all real people, yeah. even stars. You were just saying the other yeah. day, I, I have to deal with my daughter. And I know I'm not a star. I can't imagine what you guys have to do with as working actors. I mean, you know, Lizzie's in the business. My sister's in the business. She does camera for sports. But, you know, there's like there's like the 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 on-screen stuff and then there's the whole other stuff that's going on. Yeah. And it, it's a whirlwind of trying to get people out the door so yeah, i understand I will stay in the background gladly yeah. i will stay i you know what i will get you your coffee i don't care <laughs> yeah. i mean that is totally fine with me i would just muck it up anyway but yeah um <laughs> we just you know we were just so tickled that you agreed to come on because this is the week that we wanted to pump things up and you know, make sure that everyone knew that From was coming to town on Sunday. Um, yeah. and, and I know there's a lot I, of people that love you. Yeah. Oh, it's my so gosh. Nice to yeah. Hear. Oh, yeah. We heard about that. Like, you know, we ripped the episodes apart after they air. And man, man, like we just had such a good time with you. We just really did because the whole storyline was just perfect um the way you played it was perfect i you know i kind of thought that maybe you did like kevin yeah. <laughs> oh. as lunch Poor kevin Poor kevin he's right 
<laughs> no, not poor Kevin. He caused a lot of problems. He sure does. I was surprised you didn't turn and say, can someone pass the salt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he just looked like he was good and you know the look on his face like what did he think was gonna happen yeah seriously yeah oh, but that was great um should you show up in this next season we will be hot on your tail yeah okay begging you to come oh, back thank you no problem so and welcome. thank you um I, like i said i appreciate you taking the time because i know you know, we were we were going back and forth and all of a sudden, you know, it was it was just really nice to, to see, especially right before the season premiere of season two um, on Sunday.